you use a pound note, brother? A pound note? A pound note? What's the catch? I need your cap and coat. Cap and coat? Cap and coat? What's the game? Spit it out! I need to make a getaway. Do a bunk? Yes. What you been up to? I'm going to have to trust you. There's been a murder committed on the first floor. A murder? A murder? By who? By you? No, no. By those two men over there. I see. So now the waiting good is going for a couple to come to collect them, eh? It's... It's quite true, I tell you. They're spies, foreigners. They've murdered a woman in my flat, and now they're waiting for me. Ah, come off it. Funny jokes at five o'clock in the morning. All right, all right. I'll tell you the truth. Are you married? Yes, but don't rub it in. Well, I'm not, you see. I'm a bachelor. Oh, lucky you. But I've been seeing this married woman. Naughty. Point is... Yeah? She was leading me on. No. It was all a setup. Would you believe it? See those two men over there? I do. You know who they are? Don't tell me. One's her brother. The other her husband. Come blimey! I wouldn't be in your shoes. Eh, have my cap and coat. Thank you. Perfect. Unless, of course, you decide to join us. For lunch? Very good, Mr. Hannay. You see, you're just the kind of man we need. Sharp, intelligent, cold-blooded, reckless. When the war comes, these will be the exact qualities we need. War? Oh, yes, we'll have quite a show of it. And what if I don't believe in those qualities? What other qualities are there? Well, human qualities. Human qualities? What human qualities? Loyalty, selflessness, sacrifice, love. <laughs> love. Oh, please, Mr. Hannay. When have you ever loved anyone? It's not in your nature, old sport. Never has been, has it? You have no heart, do you, Hene? But you know this. So sad, isn't it? No one to love, no one to care for, no home to go to. But there is, you see, there is our home. Our home? That is the only place you will find love, old chum, where you really and truly belong. Oh, we will give you love, honey. And in return, you will love us, the master race, on our great unstoppable march, commanded eternally by destiny itself. What do you say, old sport? What will it be? Will you join us? Hey! Ah! Ye poor dears! Look, Willie, it's a young couple come out of the night. Come away in, sir. Come away in. Ah, dear, the poor young lass is terrible wet. My poor wee dears. Thanks awfully. We had an accident with our car a few miles back. Have you no luggage? Sorry? Have you no luggage? Have you no luggage? Oh, yes, of course. It's it's in the car. Ah, oh, in the car, of course. Anyway, welcome to the McGarrigal Hotel. I am Mrs. McGarrigal. This is my husband, Willie McGarrigal. Hi. How do you do? Anyway. You can be certain that at the McGarrigal Hotel, a warm McGarrigal welcome awaits you. Thank you. As I was... Isn't that right, Willie? Aye, uh, marvelous. Anyway. And despite it being off season. Yes. Um, we'd like to stay the night if you could accommodate us. Ah, well, let us see. Let us see, let us see, let us see. Well, we've just the one bedroom left with the uh, one bed in it. 
But you're not minding that. No, no, quite the reverse. <gasps> you are man and wife, I suppose. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. I thought you were. I thought you were. <laughs> well, uh, if you wouldn't mind registering, please. Uh, Willie, the book.